Hey guys, what's up? <sighs> Some of you guys might know I don't sleep very well anymore, and I usually don't get up before 9 or 10 o'clock anymore for a long, long time. 8 o'clock, I'm here at the shop. I figured out how not to wake up late. Don't go to sleep. So I am here on about an hour of sleep. Holy cow, so I figured since I had such a horrible night, we should do something easy today. Let's do a clean one. Or try to anyway. You want to do that? Yeah, yeah. That's what we're going to try to do today. Um, since I had such great luck with one of these, like, you know, everybody has a different name for them. I call them a drag, drag tines. Um, making the other sword, we'll use the same steel. Keep it simple. Uh, did a little research <clears throat> throughout my night. Claymore is our, you know, they have like a 42 inch blade up to, I forget now, fifth, four to five feet long is what it is. And um, they weigh almost six pounds or somewhere in that range. I mean, that's just a general spec. Uh, the only scale I have goes up to five pounds. This weighs more than five. I need to take off this clip. So what I'm gonna do uh, is take off this sacrificial piece. I'll zip off like a half an inch off the end here, measure that, just to get an idea of, of how much uh, steel I'm going to need to get to that six pound thing. My quench for swords is only 32 inches, but with the Claymore, uh, I'm going to do like, a, what is it, William Wallace, where they have the leather wrap in front of the guard. So I'll figure 10 inches or so for that. So that should get me... You know, I don't have to harden that much is what I'm, what I'm thinking. So, uh, we'll go ahead and we'll hard dump 32 inches of it anyway, and that's what I'll do on the grind. So, all right, let me get this figured out as far as how much we need. Forge is fired up, and let's get going on this sleep this day. That's so what it is. I zipped off about a half an inch off the end of that. Measured that's 1.3 ounces. Uh, to get a six-foot sword, I need 36 inches of this stuff. So, I'd say I got just about the, the right amount of steel to do this, assuming that... Well, anyway, it's a rough calculation. So let's get this thing straightened out. If you remember the first sword, I straightened it out and then I quenched it. We're gonna quench that. We're just gonna straighten it out and then we'll go from there. All right, for the first attempt to straighten it out, just get a little heat on it and slowly, little by little, piece of night, I'll talk to you without any sleep. Uh, we'll unfold, we'll unroll it and I'll be back with this thing. All right, hopefully for the last of it right here. Get it straight. Just a few heats to do it. That's one of the problems with working on a large item like this in a forge. In my forge, you only have, you know, 12 inches of, of heating space to go. Let me grab a tape measure. We'll see what we end up with. <clears throat> and then we'll go from there. We gotta let it cool down when I'm clenching it, right? From the end to the hole is 33 inches. So I forget what I said. I think I said I need 36, but um, that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna go ahead, uh, once this cools down, I'm gonna zip that hole off. I don't need it. I suppose I could just take, maybe I could, I'll take a corner off and that'll give us a little bit more room for a tang in case I do need it. So I'll just take a 90 out of that corner and uh, and then we'll let this thing cool down so I can handle it and go from there. It is, it just took uh, a, an angle in like that. I should be able to flatten that out now and, and then bring everything back down without any issues, I think. So I'm, I'll do that and then we'll let her cool down. So we can do about getting that stuff down in a usable way. Could have done just fine cutting it off there, but just in case. I want to keep as much steel as possible. Finish this up without causing myself any issues. Last thing I had one as a roll in there, you know. Well, it is what it is. 
That's going to be the tang side anyway. So I think we'll be okay. Stuff moves hard. Just finish this last piece up here. And then we'll let the other end cool down enough where I can handle it. Seems like maybe that wasn't the smartest thing to do, but it's what I chose to do. When we get done, we're going to need... Yeah, I'm not sure I like that at all. Yeah, one roll, I'm going to grind that out. Um, we're going to need a 12 inch handle plus enough for the palm on the guard. So we're looking at 13, 14 inches of tang before we can go ahead and start the, the blade itself. So let me get this end here cooled down so I can handle it without a glove. Get that little rollover nipped off of there. We'll be back. All right, we'll start dropping that tang down now. Again, I'm looking for, I think, 13, 14 inches. By the time we get done, stuff in here. We'll see how clean it comes out. Come back down here a little bit. Try to get some structure back into this end. Can. Make everybody happy again anyway. what kind of handle I'm going to put on yet. I might stack leather like I did the last one. Don't know. Let's see what we get for the sword first. Ah, she's cleaning up there a little. Getting closer. A little bit more here. Don't like that one spot. I really don't. But I do think we need all that steel. Let's see what we got going on there. We want 12 plus. So we got a long ways to go. 
Alright, let's see about picking up a few more inches of tanning here. say we're close. God, I just can't believe it's going to be that long. I don't think we're overly thick in that tang either. We said it's going to be easy, James. We'll go a little bit farther here. pretty good on huh? length. Yeah, that's 12. We'll go another inch anyway. I think we'll be there. Stretching, stretching, everybody's stretching. this last
100% settlement. No sleep channel. Am I too thick here? It almost seems like I am. Let's go one more time to see if we can thin that out. Alright, time, time to thin it. down through the tang now. Try to get it centered up on the sore and then straighten back through there. Whew. Let's go ahead and clean this up the best we can, straighten her out the best we can. Even her out the best we can. Or it's thickness. Paper uh, a little thinner towards the end. Visit it before we're done totally anyway, but to help keep things in alignment, I wouldn't want to be in close. I like that. All right, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to heat these two corners up and go ahead and put that in the vise and just try to square that up a little bit for my, for my guard to insert in. Take a little bit of time now, there's a little rollover that's occurring here, so I'm going to just address that so I don't exaggerate it in my next move. This little rounder works awesome, I'm pulling that out. I like it. One more heat and into the vise. Let's see what we can do about squaring these off a little bit. down that'll become our new handle and we'll turn around and start working on the blade. At this point we have I might take a measure hold on. Alright at this point we have 13 inches of handle, 
tang and from that point to the end 28 inches of material to work with so again we're trying to get 42 42 inches if we can of uh, 30 yeah, about that long is what we're really trying to do so we will see how it goes I gotta cool this end out first research that I did I think it said that the width of the blade was two and a half at the hilt and then down to like three quarters of an inch. So we really have to do quite a bit of tapering here. The handle is still a little too long for jam. Um, I'm just trying to get that edge worked out so we can bring her down without bird mounting too much. Mountain. What is it? Fishing on things. My handle's not cool enough yet, so I'm gonna wait a minute. Um, so we gotta go Alright, so I think you said two and a half to here to three quarters of an inch down there. Seems like a lot. The tip, it doesn't come down to a point like that. The tip comes down with this gentle taper and then there's more of a blunt point on the end. That's what most of the, the uh, images that I saw have. So that's what we're gonna do. Let's tip back a little bit more. Ooh, almost hit you guys. Taking our time, we gotta thin it out anyway. Go just a little more. I start to form this taper. Now I think back here I'm just going to be this thickness and that width before I start drawing the, the uh, bevel out but this needs to taper back. So we'll just start stretching everything out a little bit more. Taper back and get thinner at the point. A lot thinner. Alright so like I said I'm just going to start oh. Jesus, bringing that down, working some type of paper, all right, and then we'll come back and print it out later. That's also a lot to get rid of a lot of that outside scale.
Alright, so again, I'm just trying to bring this taper down. I'm going farther than I want to, but I also need to get some length on this thing too. So just to kind of give me an eye of where I want that taper to be without rolling it. And then we'll try to stretch out for length. I think we'll be okay. I mean, that's a lot of steel there. Plus, it gives me a chance. I don't know if I said it last time somebody showed up at the shop. Um, it gives me a chance to knock some of that outer scale out of the way. Too. Keep right on going down. back once I make it all the way down. Move you guys back a little. this last section up just to knock that outside scale off. I really don't need to move it much. And then we'll go from there. So let's see what this last section does for us. the taper, my guess anyway, what the taper is going to be. I'm always short of tape measure. Alright, so let's measure this up and see what we picked up. So we were at 28, we are now at 30 inches of blade. So we got about 10 more inches anyway that I'd like to get. Um, and we're doing alright. One thing you might notice, oops, we're too long for you now, is that little spot where I had that one little fold in the tang broke off. So I think I got enough um, steel there but I think I'm just gonna weld this back on with the welder. Uh, we'll call it cheating for now but it's okay. I don't mind this kind of cheat on the first try. I think we have plenty of, of uh, sword there actually. That, I, I don't know. Let me think. Damn it. What I do instead of cheating is to, is to uh, go ahead and steal some more from this blade. Um, I just didn't want to cheat. And it just seems that it's heavy enough still. Hopefully I don't end up with the same freaking problem right there. God, Chandler, what are you doing? I got a bit of a roll and I'm not gonna I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna grind that off whole tight. Alright, let's see if we can recover from this. Sometimes the easiest things are the things that cause you the most grief. It's crazy. It's just crazy, I tell you. We're on our way now. I was 
just hammering on the tip. Wasn't even holding on to that part, just the vibration through the piece caused it to, to sever. And I, I hadn't even, uh, you know, I'd never quenched this thing. You know, it's not going in the water for any reason that I can think of anyway, but them's the brakes. <laughs> Pun intended. Got that tang back where I want it now. We're just going to straighten her back up. Just like we did before, and then wait another half an hour for it to cool down. It sucks, but I'm glad I did it this way now. I didn't shoot. I don't want to be a cheater. Cheaters cheat. Now it is on Okay, so we're going to come back and revisit that. It's not bad right there. Let me just kind of square these bottoms off again and then we'll be good. After my shenanigans, we're back to 28 inches again. So we got a long ways to go. We gotta let this cool down and then we'll start drawing it out. We got out to here to go 10 or 15 inches. This top and bottom fuller. And hopefully we can get some length added to this thing. Thin it out a little bit. Just after length, right now. Through her one more time. I have a sneaky suspicion we're going to be going through her a bunch of more times. But we got to get the length. that center G. Seems like I don't want it that thick. It just seems a little more. So I can judge what I got going on. So an inch. We picked up an inch from that. And we got a lot more back here, so. 
All right, at this point, I'm going to leave that thickness the way it is. And I'll just work my way down through the sword now. We'll see what that looks like. If I'm not happy, I'll go back and thin it out some more. I've gone through it a couple of times. And we are still only 30, 31 and a half inches. We have 10 more inches to go. It's unbelievable. Um, just, you know, it's, it's an impressive thing, but it's got to be, you can't see me, it's got to be way up here. Oh, boy. So I think we'll just keep going through her, thinning her down. And uh, maybe I'm a little too wide here. By the time I get my taper out, um, this is about, I think, the width that I want uh, once the taper's in there, so, or the bevel's in there. So we'll keep hammering. I'll keep coming back when I find some progress. One, one, one more time through, what I've been doing is a squish and stretch. So I'm down here now. Uh, I didn't eat far enough, but I squish it like this. Stretch that back out. Make it a little thinner and a little bit narrower. I got a spot here to do. I don't know. I hope we're getting close. I don't think so. If I have to do that again, I'm going to cry. I think I might have to. Children, what do we got? Think we made it? That's the squish and stretch one time through. I think I'm going to have to do it again. Anything between 42 and 48, I'm happy with. And we are at 36. We're at 36, we need four more inches. 42, six more inches. Oh my gosh. 42. Damn, Sam. That is just crazy. So I'm going to have to go through one more time. Squish and smush, thin it down some more. My Jesus, that's not seeing my sword. Holy crap. Ay, ay, ay. All right, one more time. Let's go pick it up. Once again, we're on what I hope is the last squish and go, squish and pull, squish and stretch, and hope. Seems like a long ass sword. Moment of truth. I hope it's close enough for Chandler to be happy because that's about three and a half hours of hammering right there since I started this project. 38 inches. I picked up two inches in that go around. 38 inches. It's supposed to be 42. Supposed to be 42 to something. Yeah, I'll go over here where you guys can see me. 42 to 46. What the hell are you gonna do, Chandler? Oh, it's 
possible you know, at 38. So, I mean, two inch, four more inches. I don't know. I'm going to think about it. I think we're going to have a short, short so All right, guys. It's uh, four hours now since we started this project. I'll be happy with 40. I'll be happy with 40. I'll be happy with 39. Done. Oh well. I'm not going through it again. Alright. It doesn't matter. That is a beast. A beast of a weapon. Oh, sure. It's my fingers burning. Ouch, 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 ouch. So it comes up to almost my chin. It should be five foot long. Five to six. So this is. I'm a shirt man. <laughs> so we're at uh, four foot three inches of raw length, which honestly, that's about uh, how long the blade's supposed to be. I don't think I can squeeze any more out of it. All right. Well, when I put the bevel uh, on, let's hope that uh, we pick up. A couple inches that way and then I'll be happy. We're close. There it is. I'm gonna take a break. I'll tell you one thing. Shame I didn't sleep last night. Let's make up way more. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I can't shut the thing. Here I'll give you a perspective then I'm gonna take a bit of a break. It was a couple inches longer. <laughs> so when I started this, uh, the forging process of this thing, uh, I said I put it on my scale, and the scale only went up to five pounds, and it was over five pounds. I don't know how much over, and uh, now it only weighs four pounds. Oh, it's just hot there. Four pounds, just four pounds three ounces. So that could very well be why I'm short a little bit. But I think that's the way it's going to stay. We'll see what we get out of it once I put the taper on. Which we'll do in a minute. If I haven't told you, it took four hours to forge this sheet. Alright, what do you say? We start putting a little bevel on this. I'm going to use the rounding hammer because I am after length and the bevel. Hopefully, we pick up some length in the process. Hopefully, unwieldy thing in the fork. I'll keep you coming for part of this. And then I'll come back after I work all the way down through, but again, using the rounding side, I'm just going to put that bevel in, holding, just like you put a dagger, holding at a bit of an angle. So that you're beveling both the top and the bottom at the same time. Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of thin, so it doesn't doesn't hold the heat very well.
so I might just take care of that with the grinder. Got another section of this thing. So that's the first pass. I stopped, I don't know, about six, eight inches. So that's where my leather wrap's gonna be for the front hold. First pass and just really trying to hammer, rough hammer that edge in. And I'll go back through one more time and try to clean it up and straighten everything back out. Wanna see if I got any extra length out of this little venture? I don't think I did. Yep, we're over 40 inches now. That's cool. I'm happy with 40. All right, she's this tape dish she's going to be on the Ford. I just got done normalizing it in the propane forge. And we are at 41 inches. So we're just an inch short of the minimum spec, and I'm very pleased with that. I'm going to let this cool on something flat so it don't warp. And uh, I'll do a quick grind on it today. Just, just to give us an idea of what it's going to look like, I'll call this part one, and then tomorrow, assuming nothing horrible happens, we'll come back and finish this one up for you, so you don't have to wait so long. Let's see what we get. long to lose some skin at 60 grit at 4,000, 5,000 feet per minute. There it is. It ain't too snabby. I got a little cleanup to do and I don't like something like this. I'll do a, a cleanup grind just to see what I got to work with. I got a wonka wonk in here that I don't like. Of course I got to fix the tank still. But that's the forging of it anyway. It's uh, 41 inches of blade. Now yeah, 40 inches. Now that I to cut the end off there. 40 inches of blade overall is four and a half feet. It's a little small for I can't even 
me show you the whole thing. A little small for uh, whatever the hell I'm making here. What do you call it? I gotta get back farther. <laughs> a little small for a claymore, but it's a good start. Tomorrow, barring anything crazy happening, I'll be back and we'll finish this thing up, I hope. I hope. So, you know, we got about five hours into it right now. Uh, five and a half, actually. So, foraging part. Most of it's done. Just clean up the tang a little bit and uh, fix one little wonk wonk. And then we'll go ahead and harden it and uh, see what we get from there. Stay tuned. Hopefully tomorrow you have the other video. If you found this video uh, helpful, educational, maybe even if you just found it entertaining uh, and you want to support me, you can jump back to my channel. There's a button on the right hand side of the screen called support. And it's kind of like a tip jar. You can go ahead and leave channel a tip for this video, and that'll help me make some more. I guarantee. Thanks for your support, as always.